About two months since high waters took over highways and flooded basements in Metro Detroit. Since then, heavy rain and minor flooding have made it harder to recover. Tonight, time is running out to get help with the storm cleanup process. CW50's Chris Walker explains. In just three days, Detroit residents will have to wait for their assigned bulk day to bring large amounts of debris to the curb. There's trash over there. It's been there for a week, week and a half. Uh, I just thought they would automatically come around and pick it up. Since June, crews from the Detroit Department of Public Works have been picking up bulk trash on a daily basis after heavy rainfall left thousands of homes damaged by floods. But Friday, that rotation will come to an end and the Cron family on Lakewood Street is feeling uneasy about the deadline. They just haven't picked anything up. We haven't seen the big garbage trucks in like, what, two weeks, I think it was. Donna Ramsey Cron says she's been waiting over a week for this load to be removed, and there's still even more taking up space in the basement. Mold in my basement from the flood June the 25th and 26th, 2021. And I'm still waiting for them to come out and clean my basement. They told me they would, and then when, I, when they didn't show up, I called the city of Detroit water, and they said, oh, you're not on the list. DPW Assistant Superintendent Duval Patel says crews have cleared more than 66 million pounds of bulk trash and flood recovery, and the department is working overtime to assist affected residents. Some of the hiccups we did have were potentially time, timely service. But with the volume of work that we had between us and our contractors, we did the best we could, and we've gotten past that stage now. Starting September 4th, bulk waste operations will resume back to normal and fines will be enforced. But if you need help removing debris after the deadline, then you need to contact DPW by phone or on the Improved Detroit mobile app. Reporting on the city's east side, Chris Walker, CW15 News.